Over 100 Robert E. Lee students participated in a simulation of a drunk driving accident on Thursday. Organizers will spend the next two days setting up events to educate the students on the after effects of drunk driving. This is Shattered Dreams. Up until now, we've done it every four years at Lee. It's a simulated impaired driving accident. Um, the students are all either student council volunteers who have planned the event or students recommended by their various organizations. They'll be pulled out all day, painted white. They can't speak for the rest of the day because they're simulating students who are lost in impaired driving crashes every day. There are 400,000 students between 16 and 19 injured in impaired driving accidents every year. So these students are representing those. And then we create one big simulated accident. The students have already pre-filmed a party scene. So they ended up here meeting here, doing donuts, playing around in the horseshoe, and then they crashed into each other. planned about every week for six weeks uh, leading up to this, so we've got everything organized. Uh, the ETMC, the ambulances, the helicopters, the life flight, um, the Tyler Police Department plays a huge role in this. Um, along with the video, we got to take part in that, which again is going to be shown tomorrow to every, all the students, not just the juniors and seniors. Um, so that'll be in the theater, and basically we'll have testimonies from prisoners, um, that are coming from Palestine and uh, just testimonies from the, each of the dead students. That was another great part that we got to take part in earlier this morning was kind of getting them set up. And so yeah, it's a, just, a great, just a great program that right before prom will hopefully just, just make kids at least think about it. We know that students and uh, young adults are much more prone to accidents because of impaired driving, because we couple that with their inexperience behind the wheel, and it's a recipe for disaster, which is what we saw today with our crash scene. Honestly, the impact I hope it'll have is that I hope kids will plan before they go out and celebrate any kind of event. So I hope that they'll think about how am I going to get to the next location? If we move from one house to another, if we want to go to a movie, if we want to go out to eat, how are we going to get there in a safe way? Um, and I hope that we can impact students' behavior in that sense. I hope that they'll think about their actions before they take them. Um, I know that almost every faculty member here has been affected by impaired driving in some way, be it texting, be it alcohol, be it some other type of drug influence. And so I want to stop these students before they are. We've lost students recently at Brook Hill, at Winsboro, Mount Pleasant, and so it's all around us. We don't want it to happen at Lee. Melissa McTee, Tyler Morning Telegraph.